Hey everybody, Sexy Matt the Feral Wizard here. I did another trip to the comic book shop, so I got another haul for you of some awesome comics that I got. And it's totally not an addiction. I can stop getting comics anytime I want, Karen. Anyways, I got a pretty big uh, haul going here, so let's see what I got. First up, all new X-Men number nine. So it looks like you got Apocalypse, I believe that's his either clone or it's a reincarnation, I can't quite remember. Uh, looks like he's going to be going crazy. I've been enjoying all new X-Men and I suggest it to X-Men fans. Got Power Rangers number three. Uh, last time I said I didn't read these yet, I have finally gotten around to reading them and they are fantastic. Uh, they're really mixing kind of being serious with the, you know, goofy nature of the Power Rangers and it's working out really well. And it takes place right after uh, the Green Ranger joined the Power Rangers, so it's kind of dealing a lot with that and it's been really good. Really awesome. And we got, uh, Clean Room number seven. Ah, there it is. Uh, Clean Room is a Gail Simone book. It's been fantastic. It's very cerebral and very interesting. I've been really enjoying this book. Another highly suggested if you want to get something outside of, uh, you know, your capes and tights. And I got Nova number six and seven. Uh, Nova is just awesome. Um, the best way to put it for people that don't know is he's kind of like the Green Lantern of uh, Marvel in a lot of ways. Like uh, the Nova Corps, which you saw in Guardians of the Galaxy, is like a intergalactic police force uh, with powers. And Nova's about the same. And this Nova is Sam Alexander, which if you watched uh, un, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, the cartoon, he's in that. And uh, it's been really good. I've really enjoyed Nova. So we got Invincible Iron Man. Uh, it's uh, continuing stories of Iron Man fighting uh, robot ninjas. I mean, can't go wrong with that. This one is my pull for the for the month. This is my big excitement. Punisher number one. Punisher is back. He took a little bit of a hiatus, and look at that cover. That is a awesome cover. It's fucking tits. I can't wait to see what Frank Castle gets his shenanigans into. Punisher. I'm freaking excited for this one. International Iron Man. Uh, it's another Iron Man book dealing with more Tony Stark's uh, past a little bit. Uh, this is only number two. So we, I really, there's not a lot to go off of yet. The first one is dealing a lot with uh, some of his past. So they'll probably continue in that by uh, kind of seeing the picture in the cover there. There you go. We got Grayson, number 19. Uh, Dick Grayson's continuing exploits into being a spy in Spiral and uh, some awesome shenanigans. You gotta love Dick Grayson. Yeah. All new Wolverine, number seven. So the last one kind of tied up a plot thread. Uh, so this is going to be starting a new plot thread, I believe. Um, if you don't know, uh, all new Wolverine deals with uh, Laura Kinney, or X-23. Since the death of Logan, she's taken over the mantle of being Wolverine. And X-23 is a mutated clone of Wolverine, uh, but made a girl, and she has two claws on her hands and one in her foot. So that's how that works. And looks like it's guest starring Squirrel Girl, uh, one of the internet's more famous <laughs> superheroes all out of nowhere. It's weird. Squirrel Girl! Robin, son of Batman. So this is the uh, adventures of Damian Wayne, uh, Bruce Wayne's illegitimate son that was Robin for a while, then died and came back to life because comics. 
And uh, he's been going around. Uh, he was raised by the League of Assassins and raised to be a killer. And he's kind of atoning for that in this book and kind of going around. So this is number 11 of that. And looks like a Gorilla in the Mist. Looks like he'll be uh, fighting with Gorilla Grodd, I believe. At least that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. We will find out when I read it. We got some Green Arrow. Looks like he's in some uh, shenanigans there. Number 52. Uh, it's been a pretty solid series. Uh, can't wait to see where it goes from here. Uh, don't know what else to say. Green Arrow. It's great. Teen Titans, number 19. Uh, last time they kind of teamed up with Wonder Woman uh, for other shenanigans. Um, like I said, this book hasn't been very good. Uh, I get it because it's got Tim Drake in it, and I love Tim Drake. Uh, hopefully it gets better. I don't know. We'll see. And finally, Batgirl number 51. And she's looking all sad. Um... I don't know. I've been reading Batgirl for a while. It's pretty good. It's been hit or miss lately. So there we go. So that's my haul for this month of comics. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you want any uh, reviews of any of these? Do you want... Uh, is there any I'm missing? I know I had a few suggestions last time. I haven't been able to find those yet. My comic shop's a little weak on that, but I'm going to look online for those. But yeah, suggestion for new comics, do you want reviews? What do you want to see? Because I'm just kind of screwing around with this show. Anyways, I'm Sexy Matt the Pharaoh Wizard. And I'm holding on to my hold slot. Ha ha ha.